those who missed the live action in UFC 254, Nurmagomedov vs. Gaethje. Here are the full results. In the early prelims, Joel Alvarez defeats Alexander Yakovlev via submission, armor. In the first round, Joel Alfanamino Alvarez locks up a slick submission to get UFC 254 started. With the win, Alvarez moves to 18 wins and 2 losses while Yakovlev falls to 24 wins 10 losses, and 1 no contest. And for the flyweight division, Miranda Maverick celebrates her UFC debut after defeating Liana Jajua via TKO, Dr. Stoppage. The lead elbow by Maverick busted Jajua's nose wide open, and upon checking her conditions the doctor decided to stop the fight. It's safety over toughness. With the win, Miranda Maverick moves to 10 and 2 while George and Liana falls to 8 and 4. And for the light heavyweight, the fight between Dalun Jung and Sam Alvey ends up via split draw. Light heavyweights Dalun Jung and Sam Alvey delivered an entertaining three round striking battle, with the judges rendering a draw when it was all over. Shafkat Rachmanov Def. Alex Oliveira by submission, Gillard and Choke. In round one, Shafkat Rachmanov made a statement in his UFC debut by submitting Alex Oliveira. With the win, Rachmanov moves to 13 and 0, while Oliveira, who missed weight for the fight at 173 pounds, falls to 22 and 9 with 2 no contest. Meanwhile, top bantamweight prospects Casey Kenny and Nathaniel Wood battled it out at a 140 pound catchweight for 3 rounds, but Kenny defeats Wood via unanimous decisions. And with the win, Kenny now moves to 16 and 2 with 1 no contest, while Wood falls to 17 and 5. And in heavyweight action, Tuivasa defeats Stru via knockout in round 1. Ty Tuivasa ended his 3 fight losing streak in impressive style, halting longtime heavyweight standout Stefan Struve in the first round. The Australian banger brought the skyscraper down to his level and then finished the fight. With the win, Tuivasa moves to 11 and 3, while Struve falls to 33 and 13. And for the main card, Magomed Ankalev defeats Ioni Kutelaba by knockout at 419 of round 1. In the light heavyweight rematch between Magomed Ankalev and Ion Kutelaba, with Ankalev opening the main card with a massive first round knockout victory to move to 2 and 0 against his rival, and this time there is no controversy, unlike what happened in their first match. With the win, the number 11 ranked Ankalev moves to 14 and 1, while Kutelaba falls to 15 and 6 with 1 no contrast. Lauren Murphy's defeat Lilia Shakarova by submission, rear naked choke, at 3.31 of round 1. Veteran flyweight contender Lauren Murphy spoiled Shakarova's UFC debut after she submitted the Octagon newcomer in the second round. With the win, the number 5 ranked Murphy, who has won 4 straight, moves to 14 and 4, while Shakarova who replaced Cynthia Calvillo falls to 8 and 2. Philip Haas defeat Jacob Maltcount by knockout at 4.19 of round 1. Haas only took 30 seconds to stop previously unbeaten Jacob Malkown. He landed a right hand on the Aussie, with a combination of punches sending Malkown down and out, and the referee stops the fight to prevent further damage. With the win, Haas moves to 9 and 2 while Malkown falls to 4 and 1. And in heavyweight divisions, Alexander Volkov defeats Walt Harris by TKO in the second round. In the second, Harris got nailed with a kick to the body that provoked a visible reaction from the big ticket, and as he staggered backward, Volkov released his punches, and that brought in referee Lukas Basaki to stop the fight. With the win, the number 7 ranked Volkov moves to 32 and 8 while the number 10 ranked Harris falls to 13 and 9 with 1, no contrast. And for the co-main event, former UFC middleweight champion Robert Whittaker logged a convincing performance in winning a close. But unanimous decision over Jared Cannonye. In the third round, a combination capped off by a kick rocked Cannonye, who was soon on the deck with Whitaker seeking a finish. With a little less than three minutes left, the battered Cannonye rose to his feet and tried to turn things around. With the win, the number one ranked Whitaker moves to 23 and 5, while the number two ranked Cannonye falls to 13 and 5. And for the main event, the Eagle Cab at Nurmagomedov remains undefeated after he puts Justin Geith to sleep with a triangle choke, and improve his record to 29-0 and zero in the second round. Nurmagomedov took Geith down, assumed a mount position, and skillfully turned it into a triangle choke to score the second round submission. Geith tapped a few times, but the ref didn't notice it. Following the victory, Nurmagomedov dedicated the fight to his late father, 
who passed away this summer and announced his retirement by laying his gloves in the center of the octagon. This was my last fight, said by emotionally Nurmagomedov. And that's all for your UFC 254 news. Thank you for watching. And please don't forget to subscribe.